Nearly 15,000 American students are diagnosed with cancer every year. So even before the COVID-19 pandemic, many homebound students, those who cannot go to school in person, would have to join their classes virtually using video conferencing tools, like the ones that we are all using now for our online classes and meetings during this pandemic. But they have a big problem, lack of sense of presence. In psychology, sense of presence is defined as a feeling as if we were present and had an effect at a place other than our true location. Lack of sense of presence can make online classes really boring because unlike our real life face-to-face -face interactions, we have to look straight at the screen all the time. There's only one angle and everyone is in front of us rather than around us. So we don't really feel present. That's where my research on telepresence technology comes in. A telepresence robot is a remote control device with wheels and a camera. So the remote user would connect to the robot using an app and then they would be able to communicate with others in video. But more importantly, they have full control of what they wish to see as they can explore the environment by controlling the robot remotely. So my research focused on two questions. First, how can telepresence technology improve distance education? And second, how does robot assisted learning affect the motivation of students with serious illnesses to continue their education? I use different cases in my study, and I'm going to talk about a third grader and a senior college student today who were diagnosed with cancer. In both cases, a telepresence robot was placed into their classroom for one semester for the college student and one academic year for the third grader. So while they were recovering from chemotherapy from the comfort of their homes, they would connect to the robot to virtually participate in their class discussions, which also enabled them to explore the classroom and to have an eye contact with whoever they wanted by walking the robot remotely. So they really felt present in their classes. Even the third grader would walk the robot into the lunch room to enjoy a virtual lunch with some friends. Both of them graduated successfully and defeated cancer. Through multiple rounds of interviews with the teachers and the students, classroom observations, and analyzing their academic progress, achievement, and motivation, I found two interesting results. First, telepresence technology improved the experiences of distant learners by making virtual classes very similar to face-to-face -face ones. And second, robot-assisted learning significantly improved the motivation of homebound students to continue their education while they were fighting with cancer. So my research proved that by using state-of-the-art technologies like telepresence robots, we can provide high-quality distance education, promote educational equity and access for homebound students, and more importantly, to move towards a more inclusive education for all. Thank you so much.